Genesis creatures have afros, they're especially shooting arrows. They love expensive furniture. That's right. So for them, let's see here, I'll give you that. How about a graphing calculator? Orange desk. TV. Now none of these are really expensive, but because the room has more amenities. Uh, they're more inclined to look at the, the room. There we go. Alright, now that's that's good because uh, this gives me two distance characters now. I have a uh, medium ranged attack, physical attack. And then, what is this? Long range. Alright, so. That's actually very good and how they uh, how they set up in the apartments. Medium range uh Medium range ranged attacks um, go from about one door to one door, whereas long range go from one about one door to about it goes about two rooms. So uh, this guy can shoot to this door, and then there's a third uh, there's a third level. Let's see here. Okay, there you go. Super ranged magic, which covers. Uh, the whole floor. Uh, well, maybe not the whole floor, but it'll go at least four doors. Uh, so uh, when you're setting up your uh, defenses, you want to pay attention, uh, for, at least for the ranged. Um, you want to you want to get them in the rooms that uh, that when they pop out, uh, they're kind of already set at the range that they need to be. Because uh, if let's say these guys were in this room and this guy was in this room. If I release this guy, he can hit the guy that's right here, no problem. But these guys, if I release them, they're going to get stuck behind the watermen or, and, uh, and can't get past them and into the range to hit these guys. So they're basically just going to be sitting back doing absolutely nothing. Uh, cause, cause the, the characters don't really pass each other. Um, if you tell them to flee, they kind of they kind of then can pass each other. But uh, normally you can't uh, you can't have them uh, going around each other like that. Right, who's home? Everyone's home but my cheapy. That's good. He's almost dead, anyways. Oh, my cheapy's home. Oh, run right away. Whew, almost lost my skeleton there. Alright, so I completed my quest. And when you complete your quest, you'll unlock new missions. Um, your completed quest will obviously get the completed stamp. They don't really go away, so you can kind of scroll down and see what quest you've completed and things like that. Now the thing about the main mission is a, the point of those is to basically get to the point where you can build an extension. And in order to build the extension, I need to defeat the gang leader, which is the next main mission. However, um, I kind of want to give my guys time to heal up. Uh, they heal, they'll actually heal by resting. And then I'll also make them happier by what do you say? Happy wallpaper? Yeah, happy wallpaper. By boosting their amenities. And what and also uh, what boosting the amenities are kowtowing to, to their wants and needs uh, increases their their sta satisfi satisfaction satisfaction. There we go. Satisfaction with the room. And uh, if they Oh, there we go. Uh, and basically, they'll they'll increase their stats due to their satisfac uh, satisfaction. So, like right now, my cheapy has plus one in everything because of his satisfaction level. Nobody else is satisfied. All right, you want a rack? You want a portable radio? All right.
All right, and this is what I was talking about, and uh, and that is a pretty chill game. So like during these down times, I'll I'll say something about myself. Um, let's see here. Let's see. I first started playing video games when I was like six. My uh, first game I ever played was Doom on the Windows Windows 98. Good times, good times. Uh, so that kind of started my whole love for first-person shooter games. Um, but after that, uh, I wound up playing Morrowind. And, and that really hit me off into the RPG uh, style games. So the, the majority of the games you'll see me playing are either RPG, uh, uh, first-person shooter kind of games. Um, I do like some of the strategy games, as you can kind of tell, because this is kind of a strategy element game. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm going to have to kind of see how it, how how those guy, games kind of work on the channel, because if uh, if you guys don't like them, then why should I? And then then you know I don't need to be posting them. I don't need I don't want to bore you guys. You know I kind of want want you to be entertained as best as you can. Um, oh, also, uh, as I said before, this is my first video, so, you know, if you have any opinions, advice, constructive criticism, <laughs> uh, go ahead and leave a comment. I'll, uh, I'll try my best to, to read all of them. Uh, I am currently, uh, in college, so, uh, I'll try to be... I'll try to post as many videos as I can, but, you know, during uh, midterms and uh, finals, I'm going to be really busy, so I will try my best to keep the content coming, but, uh, uh yeah, I don't, I don't know. let's see here, right. let's go ahead and pop another quest, um, some nayer nayer do weller do wells have caught wind that your apartment is packed with treasure repel the raid okay i'm all up for that get some more cash the racketeering club bring it on do i have all my tenants yes oh no i'm missing the waterman Take that unskilled hoodlum. Alright, how many rounds is this? Three? Alright. Okay, so now that it's raining, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you that. There you go. See, he grew stronger due to the weather, so he's got plus five, plus two, and plus three. Apparently, he also has a very good satisf satisfaction level. Uh, so he's probably got plus one on everything as well. Oh. Apparently he wants a graphing calculator. I can afford one of those. A CD player. Electric fan. Nope. Can't afford. Can't afford that. Sorry. Deck of playing cards. Can't afford that either. Can't even afford a deck of cards. Ugh. The struggles of the of a of a startup company. No money. Man, I really wish my waterman was back. Be a beast right now. Alright, so we got two guys. There we go. Hey, my waterman's back. Take him out. Oh, um, okay. Uh, another thing. Uh, some of you have might have come over from, uh, or have seen me on Kanoa's channel. Um, we've done some uh, live streaming, and I've done some co-op games with him as well. Uh, in those games, my uh, my gamer tag was uh, Altair. Um, so. Uh, I don't know if you recognize my voice or anything like that, or if Kanoa said go over to this guy's channel or whatever. Uh, that's me. 
Oh no! I lost my GP. New missions are available. I need to find a new tenant. Boom. Alright. Now when you get new tenants that you always want to kinda check and see what their their estimated uh, income is so you can adjust their rent. See if they have any first time complaints. She's a clown. Oh wow, she has She has better stats than my other one. That other cheapy. Slacker. Okay, I can afford your electric fan. Just your rent. Playing cards. I got playing cards. Alright, let's adjust your rent. Usually I have a strategy of always making sure that I leave a vitamin drink uh, in everyone's room, usually in this bottom corner. Just so that, you know, if they get hurt in a battle, um, or like in these quests, um, during, the, during the wave you're not allowed to go in here and buy things for them, so like you can't buy this vitamin drink that will heal them uh, if a wave is going on. Uh, so you kind of have to prepare for the waves uh, beforehand, and uh, in between waves, uh, you get some down periods, so you can you can replace those those items. Uh, but but they don't take the item unless a wave is going. It's kind of weird. Um, and it's oh hey, Waterman's found a lover. Good, got some good artillery starting up down back there. Um, the reason they don't drink it outside the wave is because if they, when they sleep, they recover their health. So uh, I'm assuming that's the reason for it. But at the same time, I kind of wish they would just drink the potion and heal up real quick. All right, since I got... Oh, cool. Okay, so these yellow quests, um, they give you new furniture. They unlock new furniture that you can uh, add into your uh, apartments. Uh, usually it, they're miscellaneous. Uh, I know... Sometime later in the game, you, you can unlock a new bed and things like that. So let's go ahead and do this. So I can get that new piece of furniture. And it's just one round, so... Oh, I guess I, I need to get used to reading the infos. Uh, a caravan full of goods from the Far East is passing through the town. Lure it in and get that treasure. Oh, cool! 103 was promoted from a circus trainer. What, I don't know what he, his new job is. Oh no, he's not home. She's not home either. Throwing the cash at me. Ha. So I now can buy Mr. Stone statue. Now this is good for the Waterman because if you go into decorations, there it is, Mr. Stone statue. It it increases the the days it rains. So they they really like those because it'll rain more and they get the the stat boosts. So sometimes they'll uh. They'll, uh, they'll request for the, for one of those things in the rooms. Um, I'll point this out since I got it highlighted. As you'll notice in the uh, tenant listing, Ripman and, and Plash One, Plash Own. There we go, Plash Own. That sounds, that sounds more female. Um, have hearts next to the name that denotes who's the lover in the, in the apartment. Because, uh, you know, when they hopefully have a kid later on, you know, there, there's no incest that goes on in this game, so. <laughs> uh, that'll actually become 
important later because let's say in this next uh, in this next wave, all right, well, few few rounds later, they have a kid, he grows up, and he's living with his parents, and they have a boy, and the dad dies. Now the boy and the mom are still living in the room, and you might not you might not know that they that uh, which of your males died. If, uh, cause I, cause I, for one, I, I'm sure you've heard me go 103, 104 instead of using their actual names. I don't really pay attention to their names too much. Um, so, uh, when I, when a certain, certain tenant dies and I, and I kind of scroll over, I don't know which male died, whether it was the child or the husband. So like if the husband dies, I might scroll over and be like, uh, and see a male and a female in a room. And wonder why they're not, you know, doing visor, vigorous physical activities and producing a, an heir. Uh, and the reason is because they're mother and child. And that's where the heart thing really kind of helps in figuring out if you have a mother and child in a room. And uh, there's actually an item when you have enough money that you can buy in the consumables called the love balloon. And what this is, is it increases their chance of finding a lover. So like when these new tenants come, if they're of the same race, uh, there's, I don't know what the exact percentage is, but they have a chance of moving in with with a, a single bachelor. Um, and the balloon increases that chance to almost, I think it, it's, it's almost a guarantee. I would say it's like a 90% chance. Um, and then once they have a lover, you want them to do vigorous physical activities. You can buy them the erotic cakes. And what this does is it increases the mood and increases their love making, thus increasing the chance that they produce a, produce a child. Right, let's go ahead and do the next quest. An aspiring hero decides he wants to be the greatest hunter in the world. And he's starting with you. That's alright. We'll knock him down a peg or two. Ah. Who's here? Oh, I'm missing my cheapy. Alright. Oh, she just went in her room. Didn't even help. Slacker. Did everybody drink their... Okay. No. Alright, so... My skull got hurt a, lot, a little. Um, so I'm going to give her one day's rest to heal up. Can actually see while she's sleeping in the futon her health goes up all right now let's go ahead and do the magic lab oh crap. Uh, witches from a nearby academy have decided to practice their magic on your building thinking it's abandoned I'm gonna prove them wrong and then after this I'm gonna do the gang one so we can unlock our, our second level. about how there was one male, one female. We all know what they're doing after school. The Academy Hiking Team. Oh, who's home? Oh, good, everyone's home. Hide, hide, go, hide, 
run. No! They, they got my cheapy. Yeah, depending on the character's uh, position, when you tell them to retreat, kind of determines where they are. So she was standing right here when I told her to retreat, so, and the enemy was right here, so she ran that way <laughs> instead of to her room, like a smart person. But that's all right. Cheapies come in, come in lots of numbers. All right, now that I've gone a couple rounds... Oh. Still haven't gotten very high on any of that. Um, don't I have one more round? Yep. School elite. Oh, who's home? Oh, I got two people gone. And the elite are coming. Oh, wow, there's only one person. Go get him, cheapy. Run away, skeleton. Okay, good. See that little cross? That means he drank his, or she drank his, her uh, vitamin, what is it, vitamin drink, and she healed up. So she's ready to go on the next round. So I'm going to go ahead and save real quick. Once you get into the later levels, I recommend saving before you do a quest. Because if you do a quest and then save during the quest, you're not, you're not going to be able to get out of it. So, like, if you take a quest that's too hard for you, um, you're going to regret. I actually got a lot of money. Actually, I should be saving up. How much is the extension? 1500 Okay. Because after this quest is over... Oh, I forgot to read the description again. I'm sorry, guys. Alright, uh, the village employed thieves... The village employed thieves to ransack your, your building. Finish this mission to expand your building. <laughs> to defeat evil, send evil. Oh, man. I have two guys gone. I lost another cheapy. More cannon fodder. Ah, oh, man. The demi humans really probably don't like me. Uh, the demi humans actually, uh, the more uh, the, the more your residents die, the more they hate you. Uh, so, so I'm probably not doing too good on that front. I've lost lost quite a few cheapies.